Remember when you first made the big decision to give up porn and make that huge change in your life? That paradigm shift moment when it was going to be, I'm going to beat this or I'm going to die. This is it. Now for me, that day is so vivid in my memory. I knew I was going to beat my porn addiction. Yet, despite my strongest desire and my affirmations to overcome it, despite my certainty that I would never again watch porn, that very year I relapsed and I went deeper into my porn addiction than I ever had. See, I had set a goal for a one year period, believing that I could quit watching porn, I could reprogram my brain and I could achieve a normal life in that time frame. And I went through this frustrating and heartbreaking process several times. And it took me a while to figure out what went wrong. See, as human beings, we tend to overestimate what we can achieve in a year. However, we really underestimate what we're capable of in three years. So I decided to visualize my life three years from the day that I was going to quit porn. I took into account everything in my life, my career, my friends, my family, and my location. Each one of these plays a role in your addiction. So for instance, at my job, I was constantly bored with the routine. I was uninspired by the goals that were set by my manager at the time. And after a long, rough day at a job I really didn't enjoy, I carried that boredom uh, and some of the stress of not doing too well at it home with me, which eventually led to porn and masturbation. Now, I lived in a small Midwestern town in Kansas. So it's like country bars and strip malls. It's very easy to get bored. So start thinking big. Visualize your life three years from now. Where do you want to be? Now, it doesn't matter whether you're 19 years old or 49 years old, whether you live with your parents or your spouse or your kids. You've only got this one life to live and you're busy ejaculating it away, okay? So in three years, I went from 11 consistent years of daily masturbation and porn use to no, to, to no masturbation and no pornography at all. I quit my well-paying job and started my own business, which was, the second, which was the second hardest thing that I've actually done in my life after quitting porn. So within those three years, I left that town where I spent so many unfruitful years and I took the leap with just a few hundred dollars in my pocket. I established myself and my business in two different cities, okay? In two different cities. And I was scared. I was afraid every day because I had a voice in my head telling me, you know what, this isn't you, JK. What if you fail, JK? We're still. With that voice came the, the telltale whispers of porn, that overwhelming urge to just reduce the stress of the unknown by having a quick little fap session, something to take the edge off a life of uncertainty. But I had a vision and every single day till today, I sit down and write out my vision. I close my eyes and I see myself living the life that I want. I express my gratitude for the things that I have in my life right now. Then I open my eyes and I take action all day till my brain shuts down, till I'm done. So how do you decide what you do and where you want to be in three years? Well, I start off with five questions that I ask myself. And honestly, I highly recommend taking time out, however long it takes to sit down and answer these questions for yourself. So this is a solo exercise. Don't ask your friends, your family, or your lover for their opinion. The first question is, what do I enjoy? Can you enjoy the struggle of achieving the life that you want? Now your work must be an end in itself. You must genuinely, genuinely actually enjoy what you do. Work must be play, must be a game. And the game is actually what's important. The game is what makes life worth living. So find the right game, a game that's worth playing and a game you enjoy. The second question is, what am I good at? Now, usually the very thing that we are good at is the thing we enjoy the most. So it's not what you have or what you do, but it's what you do or what you have. Now ask yourself, are you infinitely better at motivating people than you are at, let's say, selling iPhones, okay, at Verizon? <laughs> Figure out your talents and, and maximize them. The moment you focus on the things that you're good at, that's the moment when the floodgates of your potential open and amazing things start to happen. The third question to ask is, what do I want out of life? Why do you want something? Your why gives you the desire to push through during the tough times. Why do you want to quit porn? Why do you want to be wealthy? Why do you want to have great skills at meeting women? To be happy? Well, happiness is not a goal. It's a byproduct of living a life of meaning, okay? 
So what is the price? That's the fourth question. There's always a price to pay for your desires in life. The price can be pain, it can be time, it can be loss of relationship, you know, among other things. The price can include perpetually dealing with haters who will resent you, who will try to hold you back, who hate everything you stand for, or they might just keep you uncomfortable for some periods of time. The price can be high, but the fifth question is, are you willing to pay the price? Are you? Do you want it bad enough? Now, it's easy to answer this question like, yeah, I want it bad enough, JK, <laughs> and you'll be the first to bail at the slightest hint of trouble. But to answer this question, you must be willing to be committed to the point of obsession. Taking the time to answer these questions can have the added effect of introducing magic into your life. Yes, magic. These five questions create certainty about the purpose of your life. That certainty leads you to enjoying and being enthusiastic about your life, about your work, which attracts the attention of other people who have answered this question in one form or the other. You start spending time building relationships and partnerships with like-minded people, which attracts success. And the more success you experience, the more enthusiastic you become, and it keeps going on. It's a cycle of success. Before you know it, you're living the life that you visualized. Now, does that sound simplistic? Yeah, it does. It's simple, but it's not easy. All it takes is answering these five questions and giving yourself a time frame. So if you're trying to quit porn, my advice is to dream and dream big. Now, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, share it with three friends who could benefit from it and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, when you subscribe, click on the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos. And finally, if you feel that your struggle with pornography addiction has really gotten out of hand and you want to speak to a professional but you don't know how to do so, just schedule a free 20-minute session with me. Listen, there are no obligations and you'll come away from the call with a clear idea of the right direction that you need to take. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.